Welcome back to another exciting game on the Clash Bash. These things are coming at you. There's so many of them. It's like everyone's, uh, it's like opinions on the limited format. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it is. It's just coming in left and right. This one's uh, Olympia versus Betsy. Uh, I'm Pat Shaw with Off the Rails on the call with Will Knuckle. Will, how you doing? Good morning. How are you? I'm, it's been so long <laughs> since the last one here. Yeah. Uh, and we're starting off uh, very quickly here. Uh, OK668 okay, oh uh, coming in. Has the I, uh, Titan's Fist, a uh, steel braid uh, buckler. Uh, come in, it does have the cross strap heartened. Uh, yeah, the heartened cross strap, the Goliath gauntlet, civic, f- civic steps, very popular. And uh, the good time chapeau uh, on Betsy's side. And they just uh, they did the attack for four. It was blocked out pretty uh, pretty easily arsenaled, drawn up, and now we have Olympia uh, coming out. Will, what do you think about the uh, the heavy hitters wager heavy heroes clashing? I, I, I love this. This is hype. Wager is one of my favorite. Actually, it probably is my favorite mechanic from the set, and uh, it's it's hype seeing the two the two wagering heroes going against each other. So, what I think is interesting that I haven't seen in a Clash Olympia set, or I don't think I've seen in a commoner one either, is the uh, the T-shirt. All blue. What is it called? Oh, Up the Ante? No, the, no uh, Deep Blue. Oh, uh, deep, blue. deep Blue. I know it. It's, yes, it's yes. It's so deep blue. good because I feel like, it just is. like in the Aria format, you can just absolutely cheat on resources throughout your entire deck, right? So like you could trim down mm-hmm. to like... 10 blues, eight blues, something absurd like that. Cause you have that fallback plan. Yeah. I think it's especially good in, in warriors in particular that don't usually use like a five card hand, right? Like they, they just can't effectively use all their cards like that. So they want to get the most value out of right. Being able to block, right. Block for one or two and then come back with, you know, swinging once or twice or swinging taller, um, and that deep blue uh, still allows you a little more blocking freedom, knowing that if you're stuck on two reds or something like that, you'd be able to kind of recover yeah. pretty easily. And Olympia is running hatches here. We see the two uh, two with the go again on the Blade Runner, giving the plus three and the hatchet synergy coming in for six on the second uh, second swing. This combination, the hatchet combination with specifically red Blade Runner is so potent right it's a two car it's a simple two card eight right two damage into six damage where you get the plus one from the hatchet synergy plus the three it's it's really strong we saw it at the pt uh pt4 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. took took a took the whole tournament by storm yeah and i think that particular combination of cards is is what's what is likely bringing it over the top right that's the like the most value you can get out of like two weapon swings and we've even see uh kasai won a uh battle harden on hatchets uh recently just before the pt and yeah everyone everyone's showing up with the hatchets speaking of showing up we just saw him block with betsy okay six six eight just blocked with the headpiece and the shield let's see how they fall it is that a blue bigger than big uh it looks like it is and i think that gives a plus three uh yeah on the blue version of that. They, 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 they just pass after of that. So Betsy's going to be this on the field. That's crazy. Betsy does like the, uh, the, you know, the wagering. So having something out there uh, to do that. Here is he, the block on the civic steps coming in with the first act. So uh, we'll get a quicken token, uh, which oh. is pretty much useless. It's a good it's a good block here, uh, especially knowing that they'll have the go again uh, anyway, so they don't get any anything extra uh, off so, of uh, off the quicken. Typically with warriors, I don't or OK, sp- specifically with some warriors, like when we saw uh, Dorinthia at the PT, there wasn't always a threat of an on hit effect with their attacks. Olympia might have a couple in his deck. Mm-hmm. So like value blocking with some of this equipment is probably not a huge deal. I don't know if we're going to see, I don't know how much wagering we're actually, never mind. <laughs> As I say it, he plays a whole We're going to have some wagering. Let's go. So Betsy is, uh, is e- equipped as it were to kind of defend this. Uh, well, gu- you know, guardians are usually heavy on 
defense reactions as it is. So uh, whether or not he uh, declares a wager, I don't know how it'll be indicated here uh, without without the uh, the words being well, we'll being shared. Have, but we'll just have to know in retrospect. Um, but I do think it's interesting. Uh, I feel like. I feel like you don't wager in this scenario, or maybe you do. It's at a seven break point. It might pressure them, but even still, the bigger than big on the field, when it pops next turn, it doesn't have to go with an attack action card like the old Guardian Auras. This one also just works on Titan's Fist. So Betsy could still just pitch one card, come in for seven with a wager, uh, and block with the rest of their hand. So I feel like Betsy should be able to block this out fine. And it looks like they're heading towards that now. Ooh, yeah. All three cards oh, yeah. and the Steel Blade. Oh, uh, the steel there's a couple blade of two blocks buckler. in there. Or one two block. Oh, yeah. Those um, more on the generic side, right? Uh, have those yep. two blocks. Uh, in the swing, coming in as the Whoa. reaction on the, on the second... Uh, and it looks like it came through, poked for one. <laughs> love, warriors love coming over the top and poking for one. Hey, it doesn't matter if you uh, win and by it did a look mile like they won the wager. That's right. Did they? Did they end up wagering? I think they got the wager. I don't see a gold token. I thought they wagered a vigor. Yeah, I do not see a gold token either. Maybe the gold is. Uh, I'm not quite sure how the. Bigger than yeah, biggest yeah. Pop it's the gold is the friends we made along the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, the bet, bet Whoa. big or not the bet big. Uh, bigger than the cross big. trap is being broken here. Yeah, the bigger than big. Thank you very much. That broke. We get a plus three. The heart cross trap broke. So the next thing gets uh, minus two Whoa. cost. The Goliath gauntlet. Everything's oh being broken gosh. right now. What is that? A ooh. blue thumb? <laughs> sure does. Sure looks like it. Let's see, it's got to be going uh, four coming six. In. Plus three, nine? Is it coming yeah, for nine? Yeah, nine with a or, wager? Uh, as long as that's the blue bigger than big and the blue thumb. Nine dominate. Nine dominate of... on hit, discard a card, and then wager a might token. Well, they may Woo! wager a might token. Betsy. That is a lot. Betsy's looking good right now, I'll tell you that. She is showing off. Oh, that says 10. Oh, do you think they, did they activate Betsy? No, it doesn't look like they did. I don't think they had the resources. Yeah, uh, they have just the the one float. So they spent the two plus the cross trap to get the the four cost there. Uh, better indicating with the with the pitch uh, item, we get a might token, or they're wagering. Oh, they're the wagering token. the might token, and it does have dominate. So they're. Uh, Olympia is blocking the one from uh, with one card from hand uh, is looking at most of his equipment, but puts the prize Galia in the way. This is it should be blocking four. Let's see if Betsy Betsy looks like they're they're just chilling, seeing uh, what else Olympia might try to bring to the table here defensively, and I don't think there's there's much they can other than or a couple of pieces was, of equipment. What was it? Was it Hold'em? Hold'em blocks three, right? Yep. Yeah. Ah, ooh, all right. And there Whoa. we are. The little little uh, extra wrinkle taken on the chin prevents two damage. It creates an agility token. Fantastic for dual wielding warriors. Blocking seven Looks like now? four, six total. Should be taking four. Okay. We're just taking two. Oh, uh, prize Galia blocks for two. Yes. Oh, yeah, it does. that's where that's where I was. Yeah, at. it does. And I also nice. think wow. um, what a great what a I great think, piece of equipment. <laughs> I think they recognize that. It, I think it did come in for nine. So nine, they blocked seven, take two, created the agility mm -hmm. token on. I mean, it, it, it kind of sucks that uh, all that went through. But at the same time, Olympia over here with the vigor, uh, vigor token and mm -hmm. the agility token going into the next turn and kept three cards in hand. We'll see what he does with it. Yeah, getting the uh, the vigor and agility to uh, coming in for warrior super super important uh, for them uh, allows them to kind of have that extra one cost uh, reaction or or action buff uh, while still spending a blue 
uh, and having and still be able to do like a hatchet, right? Blade Runner hatchet. And we see the goblet of uh, Blood Run wine coming in, just giving back those tokens. Uh, and the hatchet coming in for two go again off of the vigor resource. <laughs> that card is an absolute that it just absolutely sets up your next turn. And when your opponent comes in with some kind of dominated something, it's it's actually good to have that kind of extra card in your hand to set up your next turn. Looks like they didn't have any yes cards to work with, right? So yeah, and it definitely looked like he he had the what the he came in for two, and that was that was about it. So yep. uh, Betsy now up waging uh, gold, getting the uh, looks like they're using a might token. Yeah, they're using a might token, going up to eight power on the wage gold. Still That's doable the token with a two card block, bigger than big. The previous turn. Yes. Uh, I don't think they're floating any resources. It does look like they have one card in hand, so I don't think they can threaten Pummel here. So uh, if Olympia wants to block, it should be able to block out pretty cleanly. Unless we're going to see like a lunging press or something like that. That would be, <laughs> that would be pretty exciting. Holy frick. The the Guardian special. It, it's never in their deck until you least expect it. Uh <laughs> lunging press this would be are we are we playing if it's lunging press are we playing with clash decks or was this just the really juiced up draft decks they had from the week before you know i as i uh as you say that i forgot that it was in fact printed uh reprinted in heavy hitters yeah it was uh it was a it was a you know sneaky good commoner staple for so long we have so the the uh, wage gold is is coming in for eight. Looks like defensively Olympia's in the tank a little bit, trying to think about uh, best course here. And right now we have three block in front of it with a Blade Runner. So uh, to talk about the game as a whole, right now, right? So Olympia is only at seventeen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Betsy's only at eighteen, right? So when you typically think of a warrior guardian matchup, it's mostly a value game plan, right? It might come down to mm -hmm. fatigue where the value is the best you can get out of the cards in your deck. But oftentimes it's it's a, a very much a struggle for the turn to turn value. Um, and that's what we're seeing here, right? So efficient blocks, efficient attacks. Um, and as I say that, this is this going to be a consistent theme where I just absolutely reverse jinx myself? Uh, as I say that, Olympia's just like, eight, yeah, I'll take most of that. They only blocked three, took five, down to 12, and now they're coming in with a hatchet of body with Gogan? Sure is. Uh, using the uh, vigor and agility from the previous turns, uh, Blood Run Wine. Oh, we see Whoa! a first specialization. Up the up the ante. ante is being played, uh, getting the plus three. Pitching a whole so, Olivia blue. Specialization. Yeah, pitching the whole blue. Uh, choose X plus one target attack. Uh, wagers an agility or wagers a gold or wages a vigor. Uh, and target attack gets plus Y, where Y is the number of times it has wagered. So it looks like it is wagering three It's times? all of them. It's right? all, so all the things are happening. It's the agility, it's the vigor, it's the gold. And then it's also, if Olympia is to win, they also get an extra gold, right? So four tokens, yes. if this doesn't get blocked out by a defense station. Oh, it didn't. It got through. And it didn't. That was it enough. Got through. The specialization worked. Oh my gosh. Look at all that junk he's got on his side of the field. I'm looking like the Prism gold over there. is the payoff. You get two <laughs> gold, too. I did see a cash in being pitched, so they are in the deck. They're floating around there. Uh, the ability to draw two cards off of the one gold instead of pitching four is. Uh, has the potential to be very devastating. And now we have, we are just, it's a specialization city here. Bet big coming, uh, coming from Betsy's side. Now the specialization, when this attacks a hero, you may wager a gold might and vigor token with them. So it is coming bombs. in for eight. Uh, and it does still look like one card in hand from Betsy. Uh, so it is coming. It had the might token, I believe, from the previous turn. So it is coming in for nine currently. Um, and we do have six block 
and a and sink, sink below. below coming in, making it t- 10 block total. That's enough to staunch it out. Woo! It is. And he, I believe oh they my gosh, win the that payout. wager. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay, okay. Recap. We got free three tendies. gold tokens, three chicken tendies. We got the vigor token, the agility token, the might token, another vigor token. Holy frick. <laughs> There's so many things happening right Four now. Four auras, three items. We, we're going huge. There's so much. Um, uh, the might token on the warrior side in, in particular, uh, it's got to be a feel good moment there. We are seeing seven total, uh, <laughs> you know, wagered Permanence. one uh, items here. Yeah, look, kind of looking like a an aggressive prism deck here. Holy frick. Uh, I, I, I don't care who wins at this point. I think Olympia's already won the hearts of the fans. And <laughs> yeah, the won, hearts and minds of the, Yeah, and, and he's definitely adoring. won at the bank account, right? Like, he is he's taken home winnings regardless. He's rolling in it. Rolling in it, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, like he doesn't even have to spend, like, a card this turn and still have, like, a wildly good attack. Yeah, yeah. No, he can play a zero card seven this turn. Yeah. Or zero card yeah. six? Yep. Holy frick. And we're seeing Talk it. Talk about that. <laughs> we're seeing it unfold <laughs> in for, before us. He definitely has a card in Down hand. I hope that he does an IP happening. himself. I feel like it's... There's a, there's a really good chance, I think, that it's an end the swing. Um, Just the way that he's playing out this turn so far. But we could see. Could be a pitch for playing out whatever's in his arsenal. Yeah. Uh, and is an iron Whoa. song response getting the reprise trigger and uh put money where uh, money where your mouth is is a two block so uh, they, they're gonna be eating four. Oh my gosh and there it is going down to 11 11 to 12 betsy versus olympia here uh olympia it seems to be in the driver's seat here what can uh what can betsy do here to rebound so traditionally what Guardians would do, and this doesn't seem like necessarily what Betsy's game plan is, but traditionally what they would do is they try to slow down their opponent with nasty on hits. I think Betsy's just trying to blow the game out with something mm-hmm. crazy, like how they just spent an entire turn playing a red bigger than big. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Setting up the next turn for at least a plus five on their next attack, but giving Olympia, uh, given the hall pass, uh, Olympia can, <laughs> can get with whatever with whatever partner he wants because uh, <laughs> she did not stop him at all. I'm uh, interested. So we have the hit and run this. doing the go again. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing what we see this gold token get used for later on. But yeah, the hit and run coming in and then pretty, the yeah, body. Probably not a lot. <laughs> 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 Olympia doesn't seem to have like a ton. Like it'll draw a card and it's not you have three of them, right? So be able to burn through a couple of them pretty easily but we do see the the clean three block on the two uh so i guess a little over over block uh in that case but uh the two go again blocked clean it looks like olympia is breaking the combat chain we're pitching we're pitching a lot ah for a fell swing so uh, it does look like a red fell swing. Uh, so it is coming in for six on the tail end here. Seven, I apologize. Seven plus one from the other axe. Holy frick. No, no, it's four, right? Wait, what is it? <laughs> I believe it's plus, I think it's plus three plus one is plus four total. I think you're, okay, I think okay. you're right. Um, yes, I think, that, I think the hatchet of mind is, is working as intended. Oh, it's a blue felling swing. That's what's up. Yeah, so it's mm, uh-huh. three plus four. Yep, you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. It happens every once in a while. It's so uh, interesting, and it right? looks like, so that, like that was it for them. Clash decks make you really think about what you need to put in it. And so you see, I think you mm-hmm. see more interesting blues uh, in, a, in a Clash deck or even in a commoner deck, right? Mm-hmm. Because... There's a lot of just blue majestics that are just great throw-ins for your class or whatever, and you don't have that, so you double down on your game plan cards. Just put them in blue too. 
Absolutely. And the command respect coming in, getting the plus five from the bigger than big. Uh, oh so it is coming goodness. in for 11. I believe it has to wager to do that as well. So I think. Uh, well, it doesn't have to wager, but it does say since its attack is greater than its base, it's on hit command and conquer. <laughs> it's so pretty good. It's going to pop his arsenal if uh, if he doesn't block this, even though it is at a honking 11. Yeah, that is uh, <laughs> that is at least his car, three cards and equipment. Yeah, uh, and it, it does go towards here. what I think Betsy needs to do in order to claw her way back in is uh, these on-hit effects that make Olympia want to block in awkward or inefficient ways or at least get cards out of his deck and play for more of a t- fatigue game plan, right? So if you're coming in for 11 on-hit, mm-hmm. blow up a card in their arsenal, that does put them back a bit. But it doesn't look like it mattered. His arsenal card was it a does. sink blow. Nope, no. <laughs> It was, and it was used clearing the arsenal, taking a uh, four on on the turn there. So now Olympia sits at eight, has the hit and run for the go again, pitching the blue, floating two. I feel like we can predict the outcome for... of the game by saying the opposite of what I've said so far. That's That's yeah. been the theme <laughs> of this game so far. Oh, lead with speed. We haven't seen that yet. That's really exciting. It is a good card, gets the agility token. It is a red, so it's a plus three. Uh, Does not inherently give it go again, but obviously the hit and run has done that work for him. So coming in, the hatchet of body for five go again. And makes an agility. Betsy. Yes, yep, and no, no wager to do that. And I believe they are indicating that they have no cards in hand. So this is face up, the face up turn uh, five, here. So five, five go three. again with a resource floating. Another eight, another eight with the hatch. Oh, is that total. a two block? So we do have the uh, bigger that bigger than big on the block. So they are taking two uh, down to six, and now three. Here's the equipment blocking for one, Value and block. taking two. Yep, keep the cards in hand. Betsy's not Going concerned about four. using her helmet so much because she hasn't made a single dollar this entire game. So no, the no, activated ability no. might not matter. <laughs> nope, and uh, getting that block and clearing it out. What do we have here? Uh, another, another. It, uh, these auras without go again. Uh, the big bop at the start of your turn. The next guardian attack this turn gets plus five, and you uh, may wager a Virgur token. And that's her turn. I I can't see oh how this is helping her out. Maybe that might be the only card, and uh, maybe she could have played. But uh, giving Olympia the free the free hand here at such a low life toll seems uh, a bit risky. I, yeah, I do think Olympia's deck, just in general, is a more streamlined game plan of just f- turn over turn value, right? Whereas. Uh, Mm -hmm. Betsy looks like she's just trying to blow them out with a series of big blows and hasn't exactly had that happen this game, right? So, like, if they got Mm -hmm. to destroy their arsenal on the last time they did Command Respect, that would have been amazing, but we'll see. Uh, Decks are looking a little thin, too. They are. Betsy's, uh, in particular, we can see it is definitely smaller than her discard pile currently. Yeah. And uh, yeah, B- Betsy uh, typically does have some problems into a warrior. A warrior's equipment is, is, is frequently good, even an uncommoner. And then it, it's, uh, you know, oh. they're usually leaning on defensive side as well. Uh, it does look like a clean five block. The money where their mouth is, uh, is, is a two block. That would have been a great, card to go with this big bop they just blocked with a red thunk or not thunk (laughs) thump uh Mm -hmm, the -hmm. other Mm -hmm. attack and uh uh, but it looks like you know olympia presenting eight here when betsy's only at four is a major part of the the decision making for betsy right now especially with olympia with two cards in hand it looks like he's about to wrap his turn up i bet i could see an attack reaction oh up the oh pitching the up the ante so much ante being upped Six. Oh my gosh, that's six and a uh, fucking three. Ooh, that is just I, very close yes. for this Betsy. 
Oh, they just it barely have a card in hand where they, they swing are... the weapon next turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, the, it will come in for lethal, though, which is, you know, it's uh, something. Six, they're blocking three. They take three, go from four to one. But they do get all the upside. Oh my gosh, the pain Look at all this of Olympia. Them. Four gold tokens. So much value. Value Two agility are tokens. Like, oh my god. Vigor token. Yep, four oh gold. My gosh. Here's the Titan's Fist coming in. Nine? For nine? No, yes. Nine? Oh I think gosh. so. It's, it's a big fist. Holy frick. That's... Uh, yep, Betsy, Betsy showing the nine. Uh, it is enough to, yeah, they're going to block two. It's, it is enough to warrant blocks. Looks like Three. they're blocking with their equipment. Yep. Staying alive, but keeping all cards in hand. Nope. Blocking with another card from hand. So three, six, six damage being blocked right now. Holy frick. Uh, the, all that setup, they spent an entire turn for the big bop just to throw nine. You know, it ends up being a three for mm -hmm. three card nine play, right? Where it's, you know, a card out of hand, a card pitched, and then a card pitched for the weapon. But what you miss out on is just an entire turn to do things. Uh, yeah. And that throws the all the tempo back over into Olympia's favor, right? They took only three damage, and, you know, Betsy may have gotten, you know, some tokens out of it if she decided to wager. But, like, it, it Olympia's just staying in the driver's seat. Yeah, okay. and we see that now yeah. with the Vigor token creating the resource and the uh, super go again from the multiple agilities <laughs> here. Uh, Olympia with, <laughs> with I believe, a three-card hand on top of that. Oh <laughs> he is. He is on. Uh, he's just in the fast lane. Uh, he is at five life, uh, but Betsy is at one, and uh, Warriors have reactions. Gallantry gold already yep. being popped. Weapon. Weapon deep gets plus blue one, the popped. deep blue. Oh my gosh. Three resources. What does he do with that three resources? If he doesn't crack a gold, I'm gonna cry. Well, he hasn't done it yet. Spends the two spends one on the hatchet coming in for three, getting the plus one Ooh. for the gallantry gold. Three you go again. Two cards in hand. Betsy at one. I mean, we already know he's got Iron Song response in the deck. So that's got to be something you're thinking about. Yeah, there we go. Betsy blocking for six. Yep. Can't the, the warrior, uh, especially like two two handed or uh, dual wielding warriors, does have a, like a relatively lower ceiling than something like Dory Dawn Blade. You know, where well, it can for five. it can go very tall. Uh, and getting oh there it is the plus oh one and the gosh. plus three going to blue iron song four. response red in the swing that's just enough. i thought the blue iron song response was uh looks like not, okay got ko olympia but... wins and we see uh that was uh that was definitely interesting uh you know betsy really i don't think could could afford taking those turns off as she did uh, I think she was a little punished by that. And once the first up the ante uh, successfully hit and they got, uh, you know, they got that just um, embarrassment of riches uh, quite, quite literally in the uh, with the with the plentiful tokens. I don't think uh, he he was off to the races and uh, didn't look back after that. So I definitely think that Betsy just uh, at this game plan. Uh, of just making so many of these auras and playing big attacks while fun might not be the most effective. And I think they are the most effective if you can play like a red bigger than big turn zero. But uh, that's that's not ended up how we ended up seeing them. A lot of the times they were blocked with, but also a few got played. Um, but taking turns off just ends up being a little bit uh, too much momentum for your opponent. Whereas Olympia also mm -hmm. just had everything going for him, right? He won most of his yeah. wagers, and he ended the game with four dollars, right? I wish I could end every Flush and Boy game with four dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd still, I'd have like twelve dollars, which is would be <laughs> great if I like if I won a game, got four dollars, I would yeah. have at least twelve. There you go. Uh, you know, it would make me basically a professional player. I right? could get paid by <laughs> the magic forces that were. Heck yeah. All right. That is going to do it for this game. Uh, once again, I'm Pat Shaw. He's Will Knuckle. Uh, this has been a Clash Bash game, and we'll be back again with another one just around the corner. Good evening. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>